talk, let me tell you guys my biggest problems with it. In a show, in a season that I actually find very entertaining, very enjoyable, I recommend it. Uh, the first half, obviously, more than the second half. You know, so people can be a little warned. But it doesn't ruin it for me. And I'm in in the last two episodes were actually better than uh than uh was it five through seven, five, six, and seven. But that being said, it was I was always entertained. It's just that some some points really uh threw me off. The the the, the biggest the biggest problem I had with the with Lolita was that it was a completely modern take on on this woman on this character. It's terrible. Uh, from in her introduction into the series where she's on the roof fixing fixing the roof. <laughs> she's got she's got her arms out. You know, there's no there's no way she would be on the roof maybe she would be telling her you know the subordinates or the workers there like you know she's a it, it, it's a strange character because she's trying to establish that she's so independent and so so uh strong women but she's gonna get married uh so i had a lot of problems with that character what made it a little more tolerable is, is the fact that Renata's so good looking. <laughs> you know, seriously. Seriously. Um a moment that was that really took me out is she had an argument with her father. And the father was completely embarrassed of how she's been acting in public and da 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 da. You're so rude at dinner. She talks back. He slaps her. She immediately grabs a rifle, points at him, and shoots him or shoots at him on purpose misses him and says i love you you're my father but if you ever hit me again i'll kill you what the hell was that what was all that so it bothered me it took me out of that see it took me out of uh almost out of that episode because i was totally totally rolling my eyes really uh disappointed with with the fact that they in injected it it says to me that Renata, who is probably the biggest name in this cast. I mean, she's got, what, 5 million followers? I mean, she's huge. She probably said yes to this project, but they had to, inter, you know, they had to interject some wham and stuff. Or else she wouldn't do it. And that's, that's, my, that's my feeling with that character. Because all the other characters that you guys were talking about, the Russian, the mom, uh... Uh, the Madrid, the other California. Yes, they're women, but they're all bad people. Like they're villains. I like that. They're they're men and females who were villains. I like that. Y you know, that I liked all of that. <clears throat> Did they wrap it up um, towards the end? It was okay. It was okay. It wasn't wasn't great, which speaks to my other problem. But I want to get. Let me get to the. Let me finish up with Renata. Uh, I do think her moments with Enrique are well. She has some good moments with, with Don Diego. So all's not lost with her character. There are some likable moments with her. It's just there was a couple of these ridiculous modern moments that were just like, no, this doesn't, this, this, this is totally out of place. And it takes you out of, the 1800s and, and the whole what's being established and the fact that it's this is Zorro's show. It's not your show. And there's one more awful moment that I'm going to bring up. She's getting married. Her mom gives her her wedding dress, right? It's her wedding dress, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's the mom's wedding dress. It's a mom's wedding dress. This is the big deal. This is beautiful. And she accepts it. Well, on the day of her wedding, she's kidnapped in her wedding dress. You know, and she manages to escape Zorro's uh, um, cave. Okay, whatever. You know, I don't have a problem with that. She goes back to her house and uh, she's getting attacked by the female Zorro, the Nalin. 
and uh, she's got to defend her house, whatever. So she goes and grabs her her rifles. I don't have a problem with that. It's established her father taught her to shoot. They got that thing, blah, blah, blah. But then she looks at her dress and she's like, obviously, like, you know, I can't. I, I Hold on, everyone. I got to rip this dress apart so I can really go kick ass. And the fact that it's her mom's dress. Well, again, some, um, and those are my really, thank God she's, it's not about her. Uh, again, that being said, it didn't ruin it. There's some good action. There's a lot of good action. Um, I want to get to, to the, to the idea of all these characters, you guys, Oh, there's too much care. There's too much women. Women. I, I have no problem with that. What I had a problem with is the storytelling of who's the villain at one, at what, what point, what's going on. Uh, you, you have some great establishing characters. You didn't need to bring in these other, you know, the villains are all right, but they weren't ne they weren't needed in the first season. You had the governor. What a great villain he was. And I thought it was a bullshit way of killing him off. Uh, that, that bugged me because I'm like, that's where this whole first season should be all about. It's, mm -hmm. It's Zorro year one, right? That's like Batman year one. This is Zorro year one. I get that Don Diego's kind of just clumsy at times, trying to figure things out, and he's got a lot on his plate. That I really like. It's like we are we have too many good villains here, guys. Let me establish them here and there. You know, now that I look at it, probably the way they established the mom or, you know, Cecilia Suarez in the Creepo character. That was pretty well done. And you know they're going to be in part two. And Vanderveen. But these other characters, uh, it, 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 especially the Californios. I, uh, you had the governor. It's like you had four these four elements going on. Okay. The governor who represents uh, Mexico. And the in the in the in the in the unit there, you had the Californios, you had the mestizos, the like the the pop general population of the people, and then you had the the indigenous. That's a lot right there. Year one sh that should just been that, and and Don Diego coming into Zorro with Bernardo and Mei Ling. I mean, I thought that the Mei Ling and the Asian stuff worked really well. I think anything else, it was just. It was a little too much, and you could see it in the writing. They were just kind of like, like uh, Fletcher said, they rushed to 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 wrap everything up. Um, I'm glad they didn't wrap it up with Vanderveen and the Cecilia character, because some things, yeah, that's you know, that's the next part. And that was kind of cool. The the mom escaping the California mom, she's proven to be a, a really uh, good actor, real menace. And you saw that a little bit established at the beginning of the first few episodes. Um, but that being said, in a sh the first the first half of the season were like for me eight eight point fives out of ten. The worst episodes were like seven. Were not that was like definitely a flatliner for me. I picked up a little bit towards the end, um, but a. Uh, uh, a very solid first season. Some great moments. A lot of great moments, guys. A lot of entertain. A lot of entertaining moments. Um, I want to say one last thing in regards to uh, Nalin. I thought, I thought, a, I thought at first for the few few we were talking about this. Me and Lila is like, man, you know, Nalin's just like annoying. She's just playing this one color the entire time and it really wasn't until the the last few episodes that her when her vulnerability opened up and that's it's like when she was captured is when she was interesting <laughs> but uh, uh, i liked her i like i loved the entire indigenous connection i thought that was very interesting and then that she's going to become red serpent fantastic 
Fantastic. It's everybody loves Diego. He's a rising star throughout Latin America. I mean, Ooh. dude is on fire. Uh, his last series did great. Uh, you know, I mean, for a dude to have six billion people following him, you know, that's billion? amazing. Bi- yeah, a million people. Oh, like six. He's got like six million followers just on Instagram. And that's for a guy. You know, usually girls get right. that. Access. Right. That's no, but this, right. this guy is like, yeah, he's blowing it out. And he just came out of a very successful uh, <laughs> TV show over there. Um, okay. So um, they agree that he is amazing to see. 